Hey family, I came on right quick to uh, let you guys know that I'm back at home. Today is, uh, I believe, the 3rd of June. I've been in the hospital now for about two and a half weeks here. I still got my bands on. Um, they think what they're causing, what they're saying, the cause of the, this for me going in this past time was when they severed my aorta, they also um, clipped um, the blood supply to my bile. And so my food is unable to go straight through the way it's supposed to. So I'm on this liquid, this liquid stuff that's going through my veins here. And uh, I have an in-home nurse that came today. I know I look a mess, guys. I put my hair back in a little cap, and I know I'm looking hot. But fuck it, that's what I'm feeling like. Um, I was online a little bit today, and I was reading some of you guys' emails, and <sighs> Lord have mercy. Some of the things that you guys have had to say just really, really, really brought me to tears. I mean, just just tears, the love that some of you guys have kicked out for me is unbelievable and I appreciate it greatly um I will be coming on and giving you guys videos and updates on how I'm doing there's certain things that I cannot and or will not talk about because I don't know who's watching this and you know like I said before I'm gonna get that ass okay I need not say nothing else y'all that usually you know um Watch my blogs and stuff like that. Y'all know what that shit mean, but trust. Um, anyway, my sister Glenda has been here for me like no other. Um, my kids have been good. Um, Kenny has been tremendous. He's bathed me. He's done just some of everything. They, they did double duty coming back and forth from the hospital to my house and I mean, you guys, it has been, it's been, excuse me, it has been overwhelming. This is my throw-up bucket, because I constantly throw up all the time. They have me on so much medication, it's unbelievable. And see, I've never been one to take pills and shit like that, because I'm too goddamn nosy, and I like to know what the fuck is going on, so I don't like to take pills that's going to put me through some kind of head change and shit like that. I ain't never been one of them, so. But they got me on so, so much kind of medication and shit, so, you know, um, I'm liable to come on here and say some any old kind of off the wall kind of shit, so it don't even make no sense. It don't even go together, so y'all just excuse me. Um, I also have to say that I got some backlash from some of the things that I've said in reference to relatives and stuff like that. I need not um, name drop because I'm sure you guys already know what the deal is. Um, some people's feelings were hurt. Um, some people aren't talking to me today because of some of the things that I've kicked out and some of the things that i said. So, you know, still, you know, um, all I can say that is I love you guys dearly. I really meant no harm. For me, it was merely venting. Um, and I was venting the truth as I knew it, and that was my truth at the time. So I'm sorry if I said some things that, you know, put your ass out there. But that just me. Your ass was out there, and it was out there raw. And that's all I knew was to come on here and to vent and to get the shit off my chest as I did. So, um, that's taking <laughs> I also want to shout out uh, Nina. Um, Mama, you are a godsend. And I'm going to send you my personal telephone number. Um, there's, um, I don't want to just kick it out like that, but um, uh, I'm going to send you my personal telephone number. I think sometime we can talk and, you know, we can, we can share some things about each other. Because I, I really love your spirit, sister. I really do. Um, if anybody don't know her by Nina, that's much love from Kentucky. Um, 
Let me see what else. Um, oh, I've lost 23 pounds. You probably can't even tell because I got my son's shirt on from his school and got my son big ass shorts on. And, you know, I'm looking kind of fucked up right now. I mean, I'm, I'm looking the way I'm feeling, you know, but I had to come on here and show you guys some love and, you know, let you guys know that I appreciate you dearly and I love you the utmost for saying all that you had to say and all your prayers and keep them coming because mama need them. You just don't know how I feel. Um, sometimes it seems like my, 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 sometimes I lose my will, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I lose my will, but it's the, the eyes of my children that keep me going. And I know that I have to continue this fight because I have too many people that, um, that I want to, that I want to be here for. And I want to, you know, take care of. And so, um, anyway, I wanted to come on and just shout you guys out and let you guys know that I love you much. And I'm going to take me something here. Because I need to take me a little nap. I don't know what I'm going to take, but, you know, when they come around, around the clock, got to take blood, got to take fucking uh vitals and all that shit, you know, it, it just it just keeps you you throw it off. My son brought me a little ice pack because 'cause I'm burning up. It's like ninety five something degrees here. And it's hot. Um and so uh anyway my sister Glenda went to go get me a scale and they told her that the in home nurse came and said that uh, I needed a scale and a thermometer. Believe it or not, y'all, I'm a nurse and I can't find my goddamn thermometer. Ain't that some bullshit? So, anyway, um, the Lakers play tonight. Today is the first night of the. Uh, how, how many minutes I got? Um, eight. How, many, how much? What time is it? 8.25. Okay. Um,. The Lakers play tonight, the first night of the championship um, series, and I'm looking forward to it. Kenny's going to come over, and um, we're going to watch the game. He's going to lay on the lounge right here, and I'm going to lay across my bed right here. And my sister took the kids to the store, and they go going grocery shopping to go get some things to cook up some stuff. So I'm going to lay here, and I'm going to kick it. I'm going to upload this video, and I'm going to think about you guys. And my hope is that you guys continue to keep me in your prayers. I love you guys dearly. I really do. And your girl is still the same, baby. I'm going to still come on here talking book two shit about any and every motherfucking body that comes sideways. That about me has not changed. Trust me. Believe it. That if the shit stank, I'm going to speak on it. So, anyway. Uh, much love to my auntie, Nisi. Nisi, oh my God. Words cannot describe the love that I have for you. My aunt has been there. She came to the hospital to come see me. Mother's Day. She came to the hospital on so many different occasions to come see me. And we just had just long heart-to-heart -heart conversations, you know, about my kids and about things in life in general, but about in general, about my siblings and all kind of things. And Auntie, you know I love you. I love you. Oh my God. And like I tell Linda, after this shit is said and done, trust and believe it. As I won't have to work no more in my life, God willing, y'all won't have no worries either. I know where my blessings flow. And I appreciate any and everything that has been given to me thus far. And I won't leave you, Mama. I won't leave you. I will not leave you. I pray for God that this this process just, you know, works itself out. And, you know, I begin to get better and feel better. But anyway, I got to go. I got to go, y'all. Love you.